Assalamualaikum. My name is Badia Zaidan Timamak Saidi. I am from AM2286F. To Today, our group will present about Malaysia education is on decline, a new public management perspective. As we know, Malaysia education today is now declining and it gives a big impact for the nation, whereas the nation needs a young and new generation to build and create new improvement and development of the country. Education will give a great impact on the economy and development to the each country. Malaysia is on low educational system. However, as a student, they need have a conducive environment for them to study that would give the great impact to their achievement. If not efforts have been made by government to invest in infrastructure, educational practices, quality internet capabilities and the other learning resources, the schools will continue drop out behind. The government need to study and research either this decision are good for the nation or it give a long impact for them also for the nation in the future. Hi and Assalamualaikum. I'm going to proceed with the concept we meet with MPM. So the concept that we choose for our group is the educational sector is on decline Colon with new public management perspective For now, I'm going to focus on new public management perspective So as we know that new public management is uh, be addressed as an attempt to make government more businesses uh, And fulfill the satisfactions of the customer So in this case, the customer for educational sector is uh, a student So uh, we can highlight the performance measurement uh, which is in which is terms in new public management as uh, the concept that uh, we can use so first of all what is performance measurement performance measurement is a regularly measure of uh, output or results however we are going to focus on what is actually performance measurement in educational sector so uh, performance measurement in educational sector is the implementation or the results of educational uh, institution program uh, that we that are evaluated uh, quantitatively uh, the purpose uh, to implement this uh, performance measurement in educational sector is to provide a better service as well as uh, to support transparency because uh, performance measurement uh, implement in every uh, institution uh, especially educational institution a better service and help uh, to achieve transparency I think that's all from me thanks okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh my name is Nur Shwada binti Shahuddin so today I will present about the symptoms of the issue okay for the first symptoms of the issue we have a lower level of student performance okay for the student performance they, we know that there is a lot of people that taking attention which is a uh, Ministry of Education, school, teachers, parents, and others. Okay, uh, for this issue, we, okay, in this issue, uh, we more focus on the students of uh, a form three, form three assessment, uh, which is practical and CJ Papraza Malaysia SPA. According to Helmenten, is according to the Helmenten, it stated that the level of student performance in SPM is well dropping and one of the reasons because uh, they fail of the they fail the target of the mathematics subject. Okay, mathematics. Mathematics is known as a subject component that is student primary in SPM. Okay, before that we know that uh, in UPSR and PT3 and also PT3, uh, mathematics and science uh, has been very worse, become worse uh, since 2014 and uh, until 2016. And there is a study that conducted by the uh, by the trend in international mathematics and science study TIMSS since 2000, uh, 2007, 2015, and 2011 is provide a clear evidence that children is provide a clear evidence that that uh, they uh, show 
uh, a student still uh, a student's lower level performance stay in low the declining uh, the declining of the subject mathematics uh, happens th since uh, one th uh, since 1990 uh, since 1999 until 2015 and is quite concerning a lot of uh, a lot of uh, uh, a lot of people uh, which is ministry of education Okay, there is also another program that called as a PISA program, uh, which is PISA program is involving international students evaluation finding that uh, show that show Malaysia uh, Malaysia ranks second lowest in a South uh, uh, Southeast Asia among Singapore. Vietnam and Thailand uh, even though Malaysia is uh, even though even though Indonesia is uh, behind behind Malaysia uh, among the Southeast Asia countries okay PISA is known as a education quality the uh, ranking program uh, the uh, program that is uh, under the uh, program in school administ uh, administered by the organization for economic cooperation and development uh, basically it invo involving 50 years old peop uh, students including a country Okay, uh, in this PISA program, they will measure the students who is competent and mastery in three primary areas such as reading, maths, and science. So PISA has become a worldwide standard that is anal analyze the F uh, efficiency and quality of academic education in system uh, in system of the country itself. That's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Halimah Tusadi Amin Zainal Abidin and today I will continue the presentation on the factors that leads to the issue where Malaysian academic achievement are among the lowest in the world. So basically the first factors that leads to this issue is the fact that Malaysia are still implementing the centralized system. So as we all know, what is centralized system is the top level management within the centralized system will be the one who decides on the decision making and also the lower level management will be the one who execute to execute and also carry out the uh, decision that have been made so basically the this whole centralized system are giving a hard time and difficulties towards the full level of management within the sector to adapt to changes and also to participate in uh, the, cha the changing of trends and also demands from the consumer consumer and this will eventually contribute to the neg negative effects regarding to this issue where Malaysian academic achievement are among the lowest in the, in the world not only in Southeast Asia but also in the world moving on to the second factors that leads to this issue is the fact that Malaysia still have high number of poor school across the country so basically the numbers of uh, numbers of poor school is in terms of infrastructures and also quality of teachers so basically uh, data collected uh, stated that in 2016 up until 2019 there are still 633 schools in Malaysia that are still inadequate to being given to the students to study in so basically this will contribute to the issue where Malaysian academic achievement are among the lowest in the world this is because they have no infrastructure they are not uh, the condition of the school is not adequate for students to study in so basically they are not uh, triggered to study better and also to achieve high educational uh, achievement in regards to their mentality where they think that if the, their school are not perfect within the infrastructure and also the quality of teachers is not contributing to uh, what motivate them to achieve a higher grade so basically this will eventually demotivate them to eventually to even go to school or even to learn something so this will eventually contribute to the low numbers of people with good grades and also to the overall uh, academic achievement in Malaysia. So I'm going to state on how to solve this issue. 
okay one of the way to solve this issue is by decentralization decentralization is related to the evolution of higher authority to the lower management at the school levels it means that the power of the central government will be delegated to the uh, school levels so that the school can have their own decision making and can make their own decision making three ways on how the decentralization can happen in school one of the ways is by uh, every school must share an academic core that can be taught well instead of uh, focusing on the quality uh, curriculum and each school also um, can have their own choices on subject on relative subject related to the history geography and religion second ways of decentralization is by uh, the federal government give power towards the state government uh, so that the state government can have control over the schools and they can make their own decision on towards the schools so for example they can give an incentive base towards the teachers and allow a diversified range of public schools. The third way of decentralization is by uh, delegate the fund of the public education. Uh, it, it means that local government or state government can have the power to give fund towards the schools who needs to have an improvement uh, like uh, to, for example improve on infrastructure of uh, wanting to have resources for the education uh, so the local government and the state government can give uh, the fund to them in the conclusion new public management are really related and important to the education achievement without new public management Malaysia education system will left behind and will not comparable with the others country education system the government need to take initiative to improve the education system because it will give big impact to the nation in the future. The young generation will do the country will lead the country one fine day after this.